All right, update time. First update of 2022. Uh, here's what's going on. If you have not seen my last update videos, check them out now. If you uh, have seen them, this is the one you don't want to miss. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I'm going to jump in the truck. I'm going to start basically the same theme as the last one that I did. Um, and then uh, show you all the other changes going on. It's going to be pretty crazy. So, all right, I'm going to drive into Ocean City and we'll get rolling. This is the perfect day to do it. The weather's pretty crappy. It's early February, rain, fog, everything like that. So, but um, the reason why I'm doing it now is it's crunch time for all these restaurants. The new ones that are opening, uh, they're trying to get ready and, and get ready to go for the season because before you know it, it's, it's full steam ahead. This St. Patrick's Day Parade is scheduled for next month. So after that, everybody just hits the ground running. So I'm going to drive to the end up near the Delaware line. We'll start from there, just like the last video. This one's got a whole ton of stuff to it. Uh, restaurants that caught fire that are trying to get fixed. New restaurants going in. Uh, updates on hotels. It's going to be pretty crazy. So lots of stuff going on. All right, see you in a second. First one up right on the Delaware line is Sanibel Seas. Supposed to be, I think, like condos and stuff. Not really much has gone on or happened. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much still looking the same. So, all right, off to the next one. This one going on is Phillips. It's the old Phillips, uh, what, 142nd Street? So they are bulldozing that. If you missed my last video, it's just gonna be, um, I believe it's retail and apartments up top. Head off to the next one. Uh, next one on my list is Crab Bag. I'm not going to stop in there. There's no updates. They said that they were supposed to be doing some things to it, expanding it, but um, I, yeah, haven't seen anything, haven't heard anything. So whether those plans are still going through or not, I have no idea. So uh, after that, I'll go down, keep traveling past Crab Bag and show you the next update. So next up is the old um, Colwell Bankers building. They're redoing all that. It's going to be retail, I think, in the bottom and then apartments up top. And it looks like there's gonna have a nice little property manager apartment up there. And next one, if you're familiar with Hatland, the building just sold. So I don't know what it's gonna be, but uh, building was sold, I think like a month ago. So after that, I'm going to start heading back down. I'll show you progress on BJ's on the water. I know you probably heard already that they closed. We'll swing by there. I'll show you what's been going on. All right, give you a little two for one action. I stop once and do two. First one is Sophia's. That one used to be um, Three Brothers. My wife and I did a walk through a Gold Coast mall and like two days later three brothers was gone so i didn't even know they were leaving we had no clue i just walked by and the sign was ripped off everything else still looks the same so i have no idea um maybe it is the same i don't know uh the other one the liquor store that was there is actually over there and this one is going to be dairy queen all right off to the next one. Oh yeah i just wanted to clarify something so Hatland has two locations. One of them's inside Gold Coast Mall, and the other one was the standalone building up here. The Gold Coast Mall is still open. The other one is the one that's sold. So it's not the one inside the mall. It's the other one. So it's the Hatland that's right there. That's the one that's sold. Next up is right here, Hooked. Uh, hooked restaurant group Let me pull in and I'll tell you what's going on with that one pretty much um, They said that they were Dissolving hooked restaurant group if you're not familiar they do have a few of them. There's like hooked off the hook uh, There's a couple different names. So they were dissolving this one the name of hooked restaurant group and they were calling it like I don't know, common hospitality, common restaurants. I, mean, I don't know, it doesn't make a difference. Anyway, what they were saying was that they were trying to basically put a bigger 
better team together. So they were gonna do some renovations on the restaurants and basically put a big group of people together. Um, I don't know, I got mixed feelings about that. I, I'm sure anyone that knows restaurants, that's one of two, one of two things that's gonna happen. It's either they're doing really successful and they're trying to capitalize on it, or they're either uh, floundering and fluttering around and they're not doing so hot. So uh, they're trying to regroup and um, try to figure it out. So I don't know. Uh, personally, the last couple times that we've eaten in there, uh, we didn't really care for it too much. It used to be one of our favorite restaurants, but we just felt like things changed. So I don't know, hopefully they'll do well. I know the, the group as a whole did, did pretty good, or it seemed like they were busy, so I don't know. But yeah, Hooked uh, is not gonna be Hooked Restaurant Group. I don't know if they're changing the name of it. I'm assuming they'll just keep it the same. If they do change the name, then that probably means that times are pretty tough for them because that's generally what happens, so. Just right down the streets, the next one, it's the old BJ's on the water, Atlantic Beach House. That's what it is now that's what it was at the end of the year uh, remember I was trying to figure out what was going on with it and what happened so basically all they did was pretty much just keep the restaurant the way it was made some quick updates and kept it open till the end of the year once the year ended up uh, finished and closed out they bulldozed the restaurant and that lasted I would say all of like I don't know a couple days I mean they went through that thing quick so here it is now Go take a. I'm gonna park and take a walk through real quick. So they haven't wasted any time at all building this. Um, it's just been chaos. So they got pretty much all the blocks laid out. The restaurant, if you haven't seen it, it's gonna be pretty big. Now the old BJ's used to go pretty much to that stake right there. And this was pretty much like underneath the, the dock that used to be on the, on the back porch. I used to walk right out there onto the dock. So the new one is pushed back a little further. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Like I said, they've been working real quick on this one. They're, they didn't waste any time at all, which is good. So we'll see what happens. This one's Atlantic Beach House. Next up is Secrets. Uh, I heard a rumor they're closing for good. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> they would never close. Like always, he's expanding. That's all he's doing. Uh, th this is going to be, I think, the new liquor store. So um, I don't know if they're adding on to the old one right there and redoing the whole one right here or, or what. But uh, yeah, just normal secrets fashion, always expanding. So that's that one. Um, Next one, let's see. Next one is Dunes Manor Hotel. Um, not, I'm not going to run down there. If you've stayed there before, if you know anything about it, they sold. And the it's uh, a corporate hotel chain that took over. But I believe everything is staying the same. They're not really changing much. I think it was just minor updates, and that was pretty much it. Um, Beach Plaza Hotel, there's a lot going on down there. I'll swing down there and tell you what's been going on all right beach plaza hotel a uh, whole lot to unpack on this one all right there's the hotel that was the apartments or the condos so both of them are vacant they've been shut down for a while it's going to be a margaritaville resort that's going to take up the whole block um, the problems that they've been having is the alley that runs back and forth right by the trash can that goes through. I believe this is how I interpret it. I don't know, I don't take my word for this one. It almost sounded like they were trying to not have the alley there and they were trying to, to build into it or something or shut the alley down and the town said no. So uh, they had plans that were to go in front of the city council that got shut down and then uh, they said they wanted to withdraw their plans. They still owned it but they were gonna withdraw it and <clears throat> didn't really hear anything for a couple weeks. And then all of a sudden they said, okay, yep, we're ready to go full steam ahead. So I'm assuming they're gonna leave the alley and I guess just build up over here. But 
Uh, it's going to be massive. It's a Margaritaville, like one of those Jimmy Buffett uh, Margaritaville style resorts. So it's going to be big. So that's the latest with that one. Um, I guess we'll wait and see until they start demo on this thing. But that's it for that. All right, I'm going to head uh, back over. There's updates on uh, Embers, how that shut down uh, or is being redone. Uh, Phillips, as you know, shut down. Um, I'll show you that and a couple other ones. So I'm coming up on Dunes Manor. That's the one I told you was for sale. But uh, it doesn't look like it's going to change. They're pretty much going to keep it the way that it is. I believe they bought all the properties to Dunes Court, Dunes Manor. And uh, there might be one more that I'm forgetting. I can't remember. But that was the main one right there. The hotel, Dunes Manor Hotel. All right, Pit and Pub is right here. They're, they expanded a little bit. I believe that's probably like part of the kitchen or something. That's where the kitchen used to be. So I'm assuming that's all it is. Up next is Embers, the old Embers. You gotta see this thing, it's huge. It's not even close to what the old one was. Uh, if you remember, the old one wasn't too tall. This one is that massive steel structure right here. I'm gonna pull in the parking lot so you get the whole, the whole effect of how big this thing is. Remember the old one was about level with this one. So it went straight across and now they just added all that. That's big. All right, next is Phillips. This has been the big talk over here. So obviously Phillips uh, shut down. I'm sure you've probably heard, but they just removed the sign on top. So that was like a week ago, maybe less. They just took that down. I don't know who bought it uh, or what they're gonna do with it, but uh, yep, Phillips has sold. This so far is staying the same from what I understand. They're not doing anything there. Uh, you can see embers, <laughs> the huge steel structure over there. You, so that kind of puts you into perspective how tall that thing really is. Up next is English Buffet, Cluck and Crab, Victoria's, whatever you decide to call it. Because <laughs> it's, it's been everything. All right, I'll show you what's going on over there. So everybody knows it is English's Buffet. Some people know it as Cluck and Crab. Victoria's Crab House, like the little pink that's still on there. That's their like theme colors. Uh, I don't know what's going in here now, but this dumpster appeared here uh, a couple couple days ago. And they started getting to work on it. So I don't know what's going on. All right, it's, the signs say that it's still for lease. So I have no idea, no clue. So I guess we'll wait and see. I don't know if they're just gonna update it and try to get it more appealing for someone to go in there or if uh, somebody did lease it and they're just uh, getting ready to start demo and all that, no clue. I'll keep you updated the more I hear about it. Next one up is the Angler. I don't know if you have heard or not, but they caught fire uh, just after, I believe it was Halloween. And this is it. So uh, they are fixing this all up. And then the other one caught fire not longer after that was Harbor Inn. I'll show you that next. But um, I haven't heard much updates on this or what caused it. So I'm not too sure. I don't know. I'm actually surprised they haven't really started to work on it yet because normally they, they open uh, pretty early. So don't know. All right, I'll show you Harbor Inn now. So Harbor Inn is the oldest bar in Ocean City. Little fun fact, history tip for you. I'm sure you probably already knew that. Uh, but the apartment next door, it was vacant, it caught fire. And then there was a lot of smoke damage that went into Harbor Inn. So they shut down for a little bit. Um, I don't know if they've reopened. They haven't really said anything. And then next door, they own that building too. That they, I think they sold it. So that's the updates with them. The fire tore through here pretty good. You can still smell it really bad, but it sounded like it started from upstairs. So 
So I don't know. If again, like anglers, if I hear anything else, I'll let you know as soon as I hear anything. All right, so this is what I did before the big surprise last time that's gonna be the hotel going right here. So to show you, I wasn't BSing you. Here's the zoning thing for it. But um, there's been some setbacks to it of, of what's happened with it. So uh, I'm trying to figure out where to unpack this one. All right, so the hotel's going here. It's supposed to be 90 rooms. And then right behind it, here is the parking lot that they were, I think, going to lease through the uh, through the town. And the problem that they had is that the town is um, the town is not willing to lease it because it's only 101 spots. And so, if you think about it, with the uh, 90 rooms and then just 101 spots over here, it's just not enough. So, uh, even if you think about it, if every room was filled and reserved, which is gonna happen, you know that, um, then that only leaves a couple extra spots for employees. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Um, so I'll keep you updated. The more I find out, I'll let you know. Uh, as you know, Oceanic Motel is gonna be redoing all their stuff and all that. I'm sure trying to compete with this because it's supposed to be a, a resort and spa. So it's gonna be pretty, uh, pretty classy, so. All right, um, next one is Inlet Village. I'm not gonna go up there because there's nothing going on up there. It's still pretty much the same. Nothing's changed. Uh, the one thing I have noticed though, that has been kind of switching around a little bit is the uh, Sensations. Um, there's two of them that I've noticed recently that have gone to they're calling it Sugar Kingdom. I was trying to look up online to figure out who the owners were or if it's the same uh, because they're going into the old Sensations buildings. So um, Sensations is not going anywhere. But um, but yeah, just uh, just curious to see what's, what's going to be going on with that. Um, so I don't know. The next one, real quick, before I show you the Sugar Kingdom, this one is the Selfie Factory. It actually used to be OC Screams and the old H2O uh, Under 18 nightclub. That's going to be for J1 students that come in, and it's going to be apartments for them, which is good. They need it, like, desperately, because I know it's, it's getting difficult for them. So I will show you next uh, what I'm talking about with the Sugar Kingdoms. There's one that's up by the Loft Hotel, the new one. And um, that one used to be a Sensations, it's now a Sugar Kingdom. And then this one did the same thing. The Sensation sign is still there. So I'll show you that in a second. It's right up here. It's right here. Get the windshield wipers for you. See the Sensation sign is still there but it's Sugar Kingdom. All right, I got one more for you. The update on Pier 23, which was the old mad fish that caught fire. And then that's basically about it. I'll give you the rundown on the last like couple things as I leave there. So I'm gonna head over to West Ocean City now. Show you a good view from across the harbor. All right, it's right there if you can see it, the little blue part to it. So that was the old mad fish. It was uh, Captain's Galley before that. And Madfish was here for a little bit, if you don't know the history on it. Uh, they had a fire on the outside by the walk-in refrigerator. And it's the same owners as Embers. And they decided that they were going to do a different concept. So uh, OC Bayhopper's in there. And it has been like full steam ahead in this place. Let me turn around, I'll show you. So before, everything over here was pretty much just being built, sort of like pieced together and all that. And then um, they just started going crazy. They got a new sign already in here. Curious to see how this one is. This is one of my favorite spots in Ocean City, to be honest, to kind of hang out. Um, it's right near the boat ramps. It's Pier 23. And... Um, the bars down here are good. The food down here is good. Uh, we go to Crab Alley all the time. 
So we like it. There's also a boat too. Um, you'll probably see it. Stan's fam uh, on YouTube, Bud and Mary's Marina in, in uh, Isle Mirada, Florida. They have a boat that goes down there, but that boat parks here over the summer. So it's actually pretty cool. It's interesting seeing the boat down there uh, in the winter and then up here in the summer. It's the uh, camouflage one. It's got like pink, blue, gray. They got a slip. It's like right, right here. So other than that, the other updates going on, there's no sense in really driving out and showing you. But uh, if you're headed by the Walmart, uh, Walmart, Home Depot, that area, there's a car wash going in there. There's a new Aldi that went in there next to the IHOP, if you're familiar with that. And then the latest uh, that we heard, I haven't seen much about it, honestly, is there's a Hardee's. They said the Hardee's was going in there, but I uh, haven't really seen anything on it yet. I'm sure it is. I'm sure they're just kind of taking their time with it. But uh, yeah, so that's it. That's all I got for this one. Uh, I really appreciate you watching as always. I'll see you next time. So 2022 is going to be a good year down here. I can tell it's going to be busy. So lots of things changing and things updating, which is always good to see. You like seeing it. So, all right, I will see you soon. All right, thanks again.